What's going on enthusiasts? It's your boy Rob back with another unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at the guards of Cardinal Richelieu. Uh, that's going to be uh, 17th century France musketeer type models in 172nd scale. So if you are a 20 mil slash 172nd scale player, you're going to want to check these guys out. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys how you can win a box of Corsairs in 20 mil as well. Here we go, we're at the table and let's do my second to favorite part of a box opening and that's critiquing the art. So let me uh, pull it in a little closer for you guys. So I was looking at this and comparing it to the other box, which is the uh, King's Guard, the Musketeers. Um, and so this art style had, is different. This is kind of a painted uh, illustration and I'm wondering if this is something they got licensed, um, some piece art piece that was already out, but uh, I think it's a really good um, painting of the Cardinal. So it's not a lot going on here. We've just got an image of the Cardinal, um, something you'd probably see in a museum or something somewhere in France, I'd assume. So other than that, we've got the logo up top and then they're telling us exactly what we're gonna get in the box, which is 44 figures, 14 poses, uh, I think that's a good amount of uh, variation as far as posing. I mean, 14 different poses. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And obviously, 172nd scale. If it matters to you guys, this is going to be the set 147. And on the back, hey, 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 we're jumping ahead of ourselves there. So on the back, uh, you guys know my opinion on this as far as the... Uh, images of the models being in this red it's really hard to make out the details they should maybe go with a dark gray or a light gray maybe i don't know that's something maybe they've even played with and they have found that maybe red is the best option so i guess that's neither here nor there that's just my preference uh but if we take a closer look at everything we're going to get in the box the well the 14 different poses um here's the command group and I thought that was a nice little variation. They give you a female duelist there, and obviously you're getting the Cardinal with this set, and a, different, a lot of variations as far as posing. I actually like a lot of these poses uh, better than the original set, uh, just because there's a lot going on. The other set didn't have any guys dual wielding, and we're getting two here. And uh, let's go ahead and crack the box open so we can get an actual look at the models. All right, so you guys, if you've seen the previous unboxing, unboxing videos of this company, Redbox Miniatures, you know that they give you four identical sprues. Luckily with this one, or, or not luckily, but pretty cool with this one, we're getting that command sprue. So we can put the rest of those guys down. Let's take a look at our, our uh, musketeers and the main sprue at least okay so here we go we've got a guy we've got a musketeer or cardinal's guard uh here holding up his cup of wine and uh looks really good we've got a guy here with the uh the spear and i like this i'm really impressed again with the detail of these miniatures being so small all right so the dual wielding guy here, this is probably going to be my favorite model. This this one's getting my model of the box award. And uh, I just, cause I really dig his look. You know what, let's make sure, let's just flip these guys around too while we're on that sp particular model. And so you can see those guys. Man, I'm really loving this. I mean, look at the, they got the, the ponytail going on with the bow there, feathered and the insignia on their vests. Guys, what are these coats called? Are they just coats? You know, what's the official name for them? If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know. Now, let's see, we've got something going on with this model here. Looks like this was like an ejection point or something, or maybe something goes there. Let's see if it's like on the other ones. So yeah, this is gonna be like this on all the models. I guess that makes sense, this one. It's just as bad, not a big deal. So uh, which way were we going? Yeah, this way. All right, so we've got our guy dual wielding. 
here and yeah so drink so we've got this gentleman here he's got his musket going across his shoulder he's walking like he's heading off to the field of battle another guy holding up the wine bottle saying hey guys we just you know we just dispatched some musketeers let's let's drink it up let's have some fun um, another guy we've got dual wielding here I really love how they've got the sash holding their scabbard here um, guys how authentic are these models um, if you know if you got any um, history or knowledge on the I guess 17th century France uh, let us know in the comments as well another guy holding the spear and another guy he's kind of at a different angle here walking with the musket over his, over his shoulder and uh, this is a really cool one this is probably going to be my second favorite model on the sprue you no know, you could actually paint this guy up to look like Zorro that'd be really cool um, I don't think I've ever seen a game with a Zorro theme so guys you, that might be something someone needs to design maybe me maybe somebody else but i've got my plate full so maybe somebody else should do that all right and we are just about to the end of the sprue okay so that's the sprue guys uh let me know what you think i think that's a really good one all right, so I will say this right now, I prefer this sprue over the Musketeer sprue. Uh, not saying that was a bad um, sprue, it's it just, I think that set was good. I just like more of the poses on this one, they're more unique. Um, here's the Command sprue, just four models, uh, but that'll be enough to give your table some variation. So we've got our female duelist, um, sporting the, the skirt with the high boots, or the dress with the high boots, excuse me. Uh, large feather in her hat. And we've got another guard here. Oh man, I really love this look. This dude, I think they've really done a good job on the insignias and how elaborate these coats are. A little bit of flash there, not a big problem. Uh, that's another thing. I've not seen a lot of flash on these guys. The mold line isn't really bad. So, I mean, that, that's very faint. That's a quick uh, rub of your X-Acto blade and you can take that off. So, here, these are probably our two baddies out of the set. The Cardinal himself. And maybe this is the Cardinal's main guard. Is that an eye patch there? Am I seeing an eye patch? Guys, if that's the guy with the eye patch, his name escapes me right now, but it's like the main guard for the Cardinal, or it's like his main henchman. Um, he wears the eye patch. Can't remember his name, but uh, please let me know, remind me. So with these two sets combined, this and the Musketeer set, that gives you a, a lot of variation. I mean, that gives you, I'd say around 29, 28 poses all together. Um, I can't remember how many came in the other box exactly, but yeah, that's it for this set, guys. Now, real quick, uh, winning the box for the Casayers. Here we go. So, the Casayers box, how you can win this set. So, what you got to do is you go head over to Instagram and follow me, my personal page, which is Rob Seven Days a Week. Um, on Instagram, so give me a follow over there and then shoot me a DM and say, hey man, I'm following you from your YouTube video. And I that will put you in the drawing to win this box. Uh, we'll give it 30 days from the day that this video is posted. And then we will pick a winner and I will announce that winner. Guys, check us out on Facebook at Table Salt Gaming Designs. Check us out on Instagram at Table Salt Gaming Designs. Uh, if you haven't played Battle Space, the solo skirmish game, you do want to take a look at that as well. It's a great community. And other than that, guys, I will see you later.